Now on this one that's coming here, I'm going to start it out, I want to start it out fairly light so that it won't be as dark a value as this. So I need that to be a little lighter. And then I want to introduce different colors into it. And I want this to go right to the red side. And I just want to take the time here. This is going to show off these uh, whatever they call these little filaments. Are they the pistol or stamen or something? It's a great opportunity to float some other colors in it. Bit of a sense of a folded petal there. So on this here, this is another folded over part. So I want it to be I just think I want it to be more to the the cool side, just as a bit of a relief. And then get brighter. Then this petal is coming in here and it's just, it's really a, a darker, a little bit darker, a little bit cooler accent over here. So I've added more of the blue mixture to that. And I'm just going to go over. The whole thing. Introduce a bit more color down there. This also a bit to the cooler side. Again, I'm making sure that my brush is drier than the paper, so I get these go for my blue violet. And here I'm going to have a cool shadow. This one I do want to be quite dry and see if I can get yeah, I can get a few I think I want more to this yellow side as the initial watch wash. Okay, and then get some more to the red side. I 
So now I need to basically mix a color that's as close to black as I can get. So my two real dark, in fact they may not go much further than that. Just my blue violet, my dioxazine purple and ultramarine blue is looks quite nice just as it is and it's certainly a dark value. Now this was probably not the smartest idea to start. So I'm going to take my red-orange mixture, add a little bit of my blue-violet, come down here and define this. here towards the bottom with a hint of the blue violet with just a touch of the others, the red and the orange, to just come in and make it seem like we have a bit of a shadow under there. And then I might as well uh, add a few detail lines. Right in my center of interest here I need to emphasize that by going in with some darks. And I'll have uh, Take a sheet of paper to, to kind of cover that up, and then yeah, I want some darker notes in there. And do that. Take a little just. A little bit of the cad red light with some of the mixture that's there just to add a little emphasis to this side to bring out this clean water I don't want it to overpower and I don't want it to compete with that. yellow-orange mixture. Let's play with that a little. Then I want to get some water and just Actually, I'll take some pure water.
over here, kind of wet this area, and then dry the brush and lift out some here, just right at the edge here. Yes, to separate this petal that's folded over. And just put it right there. And I think I'm going to call that good, my little iris study. I hope you've enjoyed this and gotten something out of it, and we will see you next time.